Hello students, in this video, let's see the construction of tangents to a circle from a point outside. Previous video, we have seen constructing of tangents to a circle from a point lies on it. The point which will be lying on the circle. Now, we are going to construct the tangents to a circle from a point outside of the circle. This question, draw a circle of radius 4 cm from a point P, 7.2 cm away from the center of the circle. Draw tangents to the circle. So first, let's draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Actually, what is the concept here? We are going to draw tangents to the given circle from a point outside. So first, let's draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Then from a point P, from a point P 7.2 cm away from the center. So let's name the center as O. From a point P outside, we are going to take a point P outside. From the center, that is 7.2 cm away from the center at the circle. So the point P we are going to take note from anywhere. At anywhere we can take the point P out of the circle. But the point P which is... 7.2 cm away from the center. So, let's draw a line segment which is 7.2 cm away from the center and at this point only P. That's why a point P which is away from the center 7.2 cm away from the center at the circle. So, the length of OP is 7.2 cm. We need to construct the tangents from this point only, this point P. So, to do that, we have, we are going to make a bisector of OP by taking more than half, let's take more than half of OP, take more than half of OP, then Draw arcs up and down from point P as well from point O. Now we get the arcs intersecting point. Let's join it. So now the bisector intersects the line segment OP at a point. Let's name this point as M. Now, taking M as center. So, now we are going to taking, uh, we are going to do M as center with radius OM or MP. Anything we can take. So, let's take OM length by taking the radius OM and the center M Let's draw a new circle. So now the new circle which intersects the previous circle at two points. The new circle which intersects the previous circle at two points. See here one point. Let's name this point as Q and this point Q dash. So now let's join P and Q. Join P, Q. We can extend it. Likewise, let's join P, Q dash. So now the required uh, tangents are constructed which are PQ and 
PQ dash. We drew a circle having radius 4 cm. Then we have taken a point P outside of the circle which is 7.2 cm away from the center. Then we are making bisector of OP. The bisector intersects the OP at a point. Taking the point, uh, intersecting point M, taking M as center with radius OM, we drew a new circle. The new circle intersects the previous circle at two points. Here a point Q and here Q dash. So now we join PQ and PQ dash. These are the required tangents. So to justify the answer, let's draw join OQ join OQ now angle OQP this angle angle OQP this angle lies in a semicircle see this is a semicircle to this circle this is semicircle and this angle lies in the semicircle moreover angle OQP is a right angle is it and OQ sorry OQ is the radius to the circle so definitely PQ has to be the tangent to the circle so how do we justify our answer angle O Q P lies in the semicircle O Q is the radius of the circle therefore P Q has to be the tangent because O Q is a OQ lies in the semicircle. Moreover, angle OQP, angle OQP equal to 90 degree perpendicular. Is it? It's a perpendicular. We can confirm by measuring. We can confirm. It's a perpendicular. Exactly coming perpendicular. So, angle OQP is a perpendicular. Moreover, OQ is the radius of the circle. So. PQ has to be the tangent. PQ has to be the tangent to the circle. Likewise, if you join OQ dash, OQ dash, angle OQ dash P lies in the semicircle. OQ dash is the radius of the circles. And moreover, uh, OQ dash P is a right angle. So, PQ dash has to be the tangent. So, the required tangents are the required tangents are PQ and PQ dash.